Hello, YouTube, and thank you for joining me for another episode on Beastly TV. Today, we're going to be looking at a great beginner cichlid. It's a staple of sorts in the hobby. Today, we're talking about Neolamprologus brichardii. Neolamprologus brichardii is an elegantly beautiful fish. It doesn't derive its beauty from its color, but rather from its graceful finage. Nice specimens will show a blue pattern on their cheek and even some speckling down the body and into the finage. This fish comes to us from Lake Tanganyika in eastern Africa. Lake Tanganyika stands out as being the longest lake in the world, uh, the second largest by volume and by depth. It's bordered by four countries of Burundi, Tanzania, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Lake Tanganyika accounts for 18% of the world's available fresh water. The waters of the lake are very alkaline, with a pH of around 9 in the upper waters and decreasing to as low as about 8.3 in the depths. The temperature ranges from about 74 degrees in the lower parts of the lake up to about 84 at near the surface. Neolamprologus brichardae is known by several other names in the hobby. Most notably are the fairy cichlid, the princess cichlid, princess of Burundi, and the leertail cichlid. It's very closely related to Neolamprologus pulcher. In fact, there are uh, several that suggest that perhaps they should be classified as the same species. Now, Neolamprologus brichardii is unique in uh, some of its breeding habits that it displays. It is a substrate spawner, and by that I mean they will dig out a small cave under, under the rock rubble, and they'll lay their eggs there. Uh, it's one of the few substrate spawning cichlids that will also school. Uh, it's been cited that schools can reach a population of near 100,000 in the wild. In the wild, the diet of Neolamprologus brichardii consists primarily of invertebrates, uh, small crustaceans, and plankton. In the aquarium, they seem to do well on a good omniflake, uh, as well as a steady stream of brine shrimp and mysis shrimp. As I said in the beginning, this is really a great beginner cichlid. Um, they aren't picky as far as their aquarium conditions go. I would suggest a tank no smaller than a 20 long uh, for a pair. You'll be able to raise a beautiful little colony in that. Uh, you can see here my tank is a 29-gallon. There's really no need for the extra height. The extra volume does help a bit, though, with the large size of the colony as, as the fry grow out. In the aquarium, these have been known to grow to 6 inches, including the filaments on their tail. They'll start breeding, however, as small as 2 inches. Once they start breeding, uh, they will become very prolific and very intolerant of other fish. Uh, they can quickly and easily take over a 75-gallon tank, leaving fish much larger than them huddled up in the corner in fear of their life. So I strongly, strongly suggest keeping this as a species-only fish. With that being said, they they will readily breed for their uh, for their keepers. They aren't picky about their water conditions, and they make a very beautiful colony tank. So, if you have a spare twenty gallon or twenty nine gallon, or maybe even something larger, and you've never tried Neolamprologus brichardii, I strongly suggest you give them a try. They are very rewarding, yet not very demanding, which sounds like a great fish to me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you like uh, what we're bringing you, go ahead and be sure to hit subscribe so you catch all the future episodes and give us a thumbs up. 
Until next time, take care.